Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rhonda and I'm also known as the Sparkly One. I recently showed a video on the crochet hooks that I just got and those are the Furls crochet hooks and you can look right here and check out that video. And I briefly talked about these amigurumis that I've been making by Little Cotton Rabbits. And oh my gosh, they are just the most precious little things. And I just made this one yesterday. I finished it, should I say. And a few, like maybe a month ago, I finished this little reindeer and he is so cute. He is just absolutely precious. And this yarn that I used right here is from Hobby Lobby. And I'll show you a picture of that uh, right in this clip right here. And he is just so soft and just so cuddly. Oh my goodness, he is just so cute. And I just made him, I call him Ray the Reindeer, and he is my patriotic reindeer, and he is just so adorable. And I think you would really love this. Now, I've been knitting for about two years, and this actually was pretty challenging for me because I, I'm not that proficient in knitting, but I am becoming pretty proficient. So, and I just really love it. I just feel like this is one of my passions now is knitting. And um, I do love crocheting as well. But this, for some reason, I've always wanted to do my entire life and I've been crocheting for 56 years. And now to pick up knitting at 61 years old is just such a blessing. And I just feel like it's so, I don't even, I can't even explain it to you. It's just beautiful. And crocheting is awesome, I love it but it is a different feel and a different texture for the fabrics. And this, you can do more fine detail work, I think, with knitting than you can with crocheting. So that's why I love it so much. And then this one right here is the little bunny version, and she is just so precious. And I am gonna call her Grace, and I just think she is so adorable. And I did make, um, I just made up some patterns on my own with crochet and I did um, So I'm kind of like intertwining crocheting with knitting with the amigurumis and Some of the clothes that I'll be making are knitted. I got the pattern for those as well But I made this little skirt right here like a little ballerina skirt and she is so cute and you, I'm just gonna make her a whole wardrobe. So this pattern with little cotton rabbits comes with a variety of different accessories. So you can make a little purse, you can make shoes, you can make um, dresses and sweaters and toys. I got a cupcake pattern by her. Her name is Julie Williams and she's the creator of Little Cotton Rabbits. And there are so many options. And I think I've spent about $35 maybe on the patterns that I've gotten so far, somewhere around there. And I just couldn't help myself. Normally I would not buy a pattern because I feel like I could pretty much make up anything I wanted because I've been crocheting for so long. But with knitting, it's a whole different story. I really am not that proficient, like I said, and I don't think I could make up a pattern. I mean, I can with a simple pattern. But with these intricate patterns like amigurumi, I really need to be taught for a few years before I can actually probably start creating my own patterns. But I just think she is adorable. I also have this bunny and I named her Betty the bunny. And she is more of a chubby bunny and she was supposed to be smaller than this one. But because I used a, uh, a worsted weight yarn with a larger needle, um, she turned out larger. And the reason that I did that is since this was my very first one, I wanted to really be able to see all of the stitches as I was creating her and learn and kind of see what I was doing so that when it came time to make the smaller ones that I knew what I was doing because they're much harder to see. And oddly enough, this skirt actually does fit her because it turned out a little bigger than I thought it would. And I am going to make a smaller one for my other little bunny. But look how cute. So I could just add that on to her and just fancy her up with this little tutu. And they are just absolutely the cutest things. And when I first laid eyes on these, I'm telling you, I just fell in love with them. So go ahead and check out her patterns. They're on Ravelry and also on Etsy. And I think there's another one, like you could buy them from her website, but I think it links over to the Ravelry but I will leave that link in the description box. And I also made this skirt for her, which is just so cute. I haven't put the button on yet, so that's why it has this string here. So let me just show you. 
so it goes on like this and to go along with this i am actually making a ballerina top so hold on one second so i just grabbed her little top that i'm making so here is the yarn i'm using for her top and also for her skirt that you just saw this is the sugar wheel cotton yarn and it is just so beautiful so really what i've done and i love these yarns in particular for the colors so I don't usually use them to make a project that shows how they change, like the striping, self-striping. But I just go ahead and take all the yarn out of here and separate them into colors. And then that way I can use all of these colors in the color palette that they've chosen. And they're professionals, so they're good at doing that. And then I can use them for all my accessories. So I will use these with the shoes and the little purse and the bow for her head and the top. And the top that I'm making right now, it's this adorable little wrap um, jacket. And it goes like this. And so if you see this, let me just show you real quick. What it does is it goes on like this, all these strings. Wait, hold on one second. But anyway, it's a little jacket like a ballerina jacket and this is probably a little too big for this little bunny I don't know why I think it's because I used a cotton yarn and it's a little thicker but it wraps around like this <laughs> oh my gosh okay and then you got to put this down here on the back okay just kind of give you a little idea okay there we go so you see how it crisscrosses in the front and then I still have to make the sleeves and then the back is starting, I'm just starting on the back. So I'm almost done with that. And then here is the matching skirt. So that would go underneath that little jacket, is if you can picture that. <laughs> but anyway, it is so cute. And I'm going to put a little bow in her hair and then some little ballet uh, slippers on her feet. And I will show that in another video when I get that finished. But she is going to be darling let me know in the comments below if you are an amigurumi maker or if you want to start i really can't do a tutorial on them because they're not my patterns and you do have to pay for the patterns so you can go over there and i honestly haven't found any tutorials on making them just for that reason and i don't think julie has i think she has a youtube channel but i don't think she shows the entire way to make it just because you know she wants you to buy her, her pattern and there is another channel called Les Petite Crochet, and um, she will show you all the different patterns that she has made. She's an expert knitted amigurumi maker, and she has, well, actually in crochet, she does a lot of beautiful work. Go ahead, her name is Elise, and you can check her channel out, and I'll put that in the description box, but she does beautiful work, and she explains a lot of times on some of the problems that you can come across or the best yarn to use or and that kind of stuff so i think her channel is very very informative and i've learned a ton i think i've watched probably at least 50 of her videos and it's been so helpful in my journey on how to make these little cotton rabbits and then also i wanted to share with you elise at les petite crochet um, she actually recommended this book, Knitted Animal Friends, and I did buy it, and I am making this horse. Let me show you. And he is called Noah, and look how cute he is. And he is just so sweet. And so I'm in the process of making him right now, and let me just show you my box of his parts. <laughs> And I decided to make it in this yarn, which is a very heavy, bulky, weighted yarn. It's a size five, I believe. And this is just one leg. So look how big it is. And I, I didn't even make all of this the way I should have. I cut off 20 rows. So it would have been this much longer. And it really isn't supposed to be this big, but I wanted it to be a big one so a little boy could carry it around and just use the horse as his little buddy and this is the body that i'm making and where is my head 
Okay, so, and here's more pieces of him. So this has taken me a few weeks to get this far, but it is a labor of love, I'm telling you. I think this pattern is much harder than doing these little patterns. If you're an amigurumi maker, you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about, how long it takes. But the part that takes the longest is learning the new stitches. So I am not familiar with any of these stitches, like a knit left loop, you know, a make one right, make one left. I mean, there's so many different uh, stitches that you have to learn. So I have to go to YouTube and I have to look up the stitch and then I have to come back and, and I'm getting good at it now, <laughs> but it was a long process. And this is his head. I know it doesn't look so great right now, but once it's all stuffed and everything, it's gonna be adorable. And then of course you have to make each piece. This is like the, the tail. And then this is the mane, and I know they look a little like tampons. <laughs> that looks so funny. But you have to make a whole bunch of these. So your, his mane right here is gonna be all of these little pieces, and the tail is gonna be these longer ones. And then of course, you know, the body and the feet, and I'm still in the process of making the arms. So once that is complete, I will come back and I'll show you that entire project and um, let you check that out. But I know it's gonna turn out so cute. And I have one more book to show you. And I got this at the $5 bookstore in our city. And we do have that, which is so great. And every paperback is $3 and the hardbacks are $5. So I have quite the knitting collection of books right now. I got about 10 books from the store recently. So I spent, I think it was $35 on all of my books. And I was just so excited that I was able to do that and get all of these books for so cheap. And then out of this book that I'm just showing you right here is this adorable pattern of this little owl. And I haven't finished it yet, but it is knitted and it's gonna come, I'll show you a picture of it. There's the picture. And it says it's a lavender owl, but he is just so cute. And I am so excited about this book. It is, has so many beautiful patterns in it. There's little hearts and flowers and a mushroom and um, just a hot water bottle heater cover. <laughs> and I mean, they're just adorable. I just love this so much. Let me, and there's this cute little door stop right here. It's a little house and you fill it with some beans or something like that. And they are just adorable. So anyway, don't forget to check out your um, thrift stores and your boutiques. And also if you have a $5 bookstore like I do or a used bookstore, you could really get some amazing books to help you in your journey of knitting. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this just little chat about Amigurumi and what I am doing. And let me know in the comments what you're working on it, on your Amigurumis. Are you a crochet Amigurumi? or a knitted amigurumi person. Okay, and there's one more thing that I wanted to share. So when you are working on these projects and you buy a pattern, say on Ravelry, you're gonna go to the Ravel Ravelry website and then you will click on your library and then that's where you're gonna see all the patterns that you've purchased or that you've liked and put them in there. So there's so many beautiful free patterns too that you'll really like them. Um, and you'll want to make them too. And actually Julie Williams with Little Cotton Rabbits, she has supplemental patterns that are free. So what I did, this one was actually one of those patterns and you buy the Fox pattern and then what you do is you get the free supplemental pattern to turn it into a reindeer. And that's exactly what I did. So you're only having to buy one pattern, which is the fox. You can buy either the girl or the boy, and then the supplemental pattern will give you the instructions on how to make the antlers and, um, and also to do the face and everything. But they are just so absolutely precious, and I think you'll really enjoy them. But when I'm making these amigurumis, um, I, you know, you can buy a stitch counter and you're just gonna press the button and keep track of the rows that you're doing. Or if you're like me, most of the time I'm writing down on a piece of paper, I'm writing down row one, two, three, and then I'll put a little check mark. But if you have an iPad, it comes in very handy if you go to your notes on your iPad. So it'll just you know open up the app of the notes, and you probably can't see this because of the reflection, but uh, of the light. But I just go into the notes and I put in a little grid and then in the grid I just do you know one through 35 or whatever how many ever rows that you have 
and then I'll put a, a check mark when I completed that row. So if you're going to type into a space, you're going to come up with the iPad like that. And then I would just go into my little icons down here and then I would put in a little check mark and it would check off the row for me. So when I'm working on here, I flip back and forth from my patterns and I'll just go right to the pattern and then I'll work back and forth with the notes and the pattern. And then that way I don't have to waste any paper and it's all right here at my fingertips. So if you have an iPad, it comes in really handy to keep track of all your rows and your knitting, what, whatever you're knitting. So anyway, I just thought I would throw that in for a little helpful hint. Don't forget to like my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I do a lot of different crafts and home um, DIY projects and stuff like that. So hopefully you'll get a lot of information from some of my old videos if you're interested in learning how to paint furniture or making a table decoration or something like that. So I appreciate you being here today and I hope you have a blessed day. Take care. Bye.